Changes are coming to BART to help keep riders safe. The board of directors announced Monday more officers will be on board trains and at stations to help cut down on crime throughout the system. This new deployment strategy will maximize the visible presence of the BART Police Department in our system. It's about to be very likely that you will see a member of the BART Police Department the next time you board a BART train. New data released from BART shows electronic thefts are rising. Riders continue to express concerns over safety on trains. A better security presence maybe, making sure that they have security, especially at night. There was also this incident. Less than one week ago, two riders got into a fight on a train heading for Embarcadero Station. One of the riders pulled out a gun and pistol whipped the other rider. The gun went off, injuring that rider. To increase our presence, we are removing seven of our traditional vehicle patrols per shift and redeploying those officers inside trains, which also includes our canine unit. This move from BART is not just about making the system safer, but also more efficient. Crime on BART often leads to more train cancellations and delays, making the system not as reliable. And sometimes you just come up to a station and, and somebody's making a ruckus on a train or at the station. So, you know, they're going to hold it until they can figure it out. So it's definitely a delay here and there. Just this past Saturday, BART put out several alerts about service temporarily stopping in downtown Oakland due to police activity. Officials hope this move brings more people back on board. If BART doesn't get riders back up, the system could go bankrupt and shut down. Riders say they want to see a train system they know they can board and get to their destination safely. Those we spoke with on Monday support this move from BART. Yeah, I love hearing that. It's exactly what they need. Ryan Curry, ABC7 News.